everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It is face shave time, I'm looking forward to this one. I used one of these soaps two days ago in a different scent of course, and that was Continental with Tangerine and Menthol and it was very, very nice. Now this one is once again from Heritage Hill Shave Company. This one's called The Patriot and you can see the fell in the back there with the muskets and this, the American flag. Now the scent on this, or the scent profile at least down here is lime, bergamot and patchouli. Now I have found recently that I'm not a major fan of patchouli in terms of the actual scent of it. However, this one is very, very lime forward and I do get that bit of bergamot from the, well, the sort of floral bergamot type scent, but it is a very limey scent which is absolutely spot on for me. I love citrus. Beautiful. Now that is the soap there. Once again, it's a very nice poured soap. There's six ounces of soap in here. If I am brutally honest, I don't think it needs six ounces of soap. I think four ounces would be absolutely fine. The reason I'm saying it is it fills the tub up to almost the rim and it starts pouring over the side and stuff. It's not a major problem and you get a lot of soap for your money. I think these are 14.95 American per soap, which is pretty impressive price per ounce, really. Right, the brush. Now I used this with a synthetic a couple of days ago. I'm going to use a bore brush today, being my turn and shave 30 millimeter quick dog bore which is an absolutely sensational knot. Very strange knot, as you can see, it's it's not a big knot. It is in terms of diameter, it's 30 mil diameter, but short loft, there's not much of it there. It's not very dense, and you can see that the hair itself, if I flick it out just a little bit more, it's very twisty and a very unique looking knot. I'm just gonna dip it back in the water again. Cold water shave again, because it's reasonably warm today, not super warm. Go with a 13 second load, see if that works. Right, I think that's 13 seconds roughly. So there is the brush loaded. I'm just going to rinse off the, the residue from the soap. There's not a lot on there. I would normally just put that on my face, but it's not really enough there to write home about. So that's the soap cleaned off. So that to the side. Now, one thing I will mention with the labels, they are waterproof, which is great. and. The label that runs around the side as well. So you can see that if you want to see the ingredients list, you have to head over to their website, which is hhshave.com, which is just down here with my fingers pointing. And you can see over there, it's the Patriot six ounces. Very, very nice scent. Now, I can't remember what the scent was called, but I know the company that this smells very similar to, and that was Phoenix and Bow. That was the one I could think of during the unboxing. But I can't remember the name of the actual scent. Now, surprisingly, I don't have any Phoenix and Bow in the den anymore. I just found other soaps work better for me. They are great soaps, great performers. Oh, yes, a great scent as well. Scent strength out of the tub on this one, again, being a citrus scent, is around about a five. And I would say right now it's still around about a five. We'll see how it goes with the lather. Definitely, st I'm starting to get a little bit of the patchouli now, believe it or not. I didn't think I was going to be able to smell it very much, but I can smell it now. And it is working well in this scent. Just going to dip the tips. Just paint some water in. chunk of soap there. Dip the brush again. Now one thing that really impressed me, believe it or not, with the continental soap, which was tangerine, was the scent. This one tastes quite good as well. <laughs> the, the funny thing with these soaps is, especially that tangerine one, which was the continental, and this one, they're very sweet. So I don't know whether there's sugar in here, I don't even know what the ingredients are, I haven't looked. It could be full of acid and piss and shit like that, but I'm, I'm only joking. But it could be, because I've got absolutely no idea, because there's no label on the top. I don't know how that goes with I, I certainly know over, I think over here in Australia, you would have to label exactly what's in it, 
on the top. Wait, let's just split this. It's certainly a very thirsty salt and it needs a lot of water to get the volume into it. I am finding more and more now that you don't have to load it like you hate it. It works, but I'm at six minutes already and I know I'm about probably two or three additions of more water and the lather will be done. If I'd loaded my usual 30 plus seconds that wouldn't be done until about sort of 10 minutes I reckon. I'm going to dip the tips and just paint some water in. Right, and that'll do me. The scent is still there, believe it or not, I'm actually smelling the cologne that I'm wearing today more than the, the scent of the soap. It's quite strong, but I can still smell it. I would say it's dropped down to like a three or four now. Now that it's lathered, but it's still a nice, sort of clean lime scent with a little bit more to it, a little bit more complex than just lime. But the lather itself is excellent. It looks very thick and glossy and creamy on my skin, but I think it might just be ever so slightly airy. And the camera will pick that up more so than the naked eye because the camera is far superior to my eyes. Right, the razor for today is going to be the car of Christopher Bradley razor with 3.25 inch handle. This is stainless steel and it's got the A-plate which you can see there. Got the A-plate on there and I'm going to chuck one of these in. Someone's I've been asked a couple of times by someone to use this big super, is this a big chrome super platinum or something? Let me just double check what it's called. The big chrome platinum. Now I've used these before and these rival for me the, the feather blades in terms of sharpness as well. It's quite a thick blade. In fact, you know what? It fits it's the cap quite tight, it's, it's quite tight on there, there is the blade itself, platinum chrome bic, screw the handle on, and there we go. Right, here we go, first pass, with, look at that lather, it's great, it's a really good quality lather, I'm covered in it, but it's fantastic stuff. Yeah, I am, in all honesty, I'm smelling my cologne more now, which is, oh, if you're interested, it's Cool Water Intense from Davidoff. Cold water shave with absolutely no prep. The only time anything hit my face was when I put the brush on it and the splash of cold water before. a long time since I put a new blade in this razor. The Wizomet is still going. So I haven't thrown it out, it's just sat there, I'll put it back in again. I've 
got two days growth. The razor is peeling through it. Right, set that to the side. As you can see, the, the lather is clearly hydrated well. It's just melting off the razor. Given that it's cold water, that's, that's a good sign. The first pass is done, it felt very, very smooth, very comfortable. The soap's definitely helping, it's very slick. As you can see, there's still a lot of residual soap on my skin, so I'll do my best to try and clean some of that off. And have a bit of a The residual slickness is excellent. It's really, really good soap. I think you get an amazing, amazing bang for buck with this soap. And no doubt, as with many other companies, it'll, it'll end up being more expensive because the demand for it may go up, I don't know. Or they just do what Sterling's done and just stick to the guns, make what they make, do it for the price that, that suits them. I think in terms of scents, I've got four of the scents that were sent to me. There's four of the scents that were sent to me, so that's scents with a C and then scents with no C. And Washington is my favourite, I think, of the four, which is a, to my nose, very much like a barbershop. I'm looking forward to using that as well, given my... I have to say, it's almost like a U-turn on, on barbershop scents, because I wasn't a fan. I never quite got into it. I wasn't a fan of CAD. I wasn't a fan of... Seville from Barrister and Man. And then I got... Yeah, can't remember what it's called. This blade feels really nice. I do like a sharper blade. I always have done. I much prefer a sharp blade and a mild razor than a sharp blade and an aggressive razor. I just think that the combination is perfect. I think really if you're going to use a very efficient, aggressive razor, I think a, a more mild blade or a, excuse me, a less sharp edged blade would work better for you. Most of the blades that I use, however, are generally sort of efficient, sharp blades. A little weep is down here. Nothing major.
this silk is really really nice like I said before it was definitely that for me against the grain soap is pivotal in how good my shave is there it really is it has to it has to really protect the skin from the blade quite a lot and this soap does it easily not all soaps do it for me Could ask for a better shave. Fantastic. Just brilliant. I'm going to finish off now with something I haven't used for a long time and it matches this scent perfectly and that is Frankenlime from Moyle Grooming. There's the ingredients here. Now this is Sean Mullen who owns this company. This is his initial original formula that he released for Moyle Grooming and it's absolutely brilliant. Frankenlime, frosted menthol. Super. Three splashes. One, two, three. And there we go. Now this does have alcohol in it, but it doesn't have a massive amount. It doesn't burn your face off. Oh, but that menthol kick. Spot on. It really hits the spot, that. It's brilliant. Just going to rinse out the brush. Oh, that's drying in. Now those little weepers on my neck will weep for probably at two or three minutes. After the shave, what I normally do is I just come back and just dab them off with a little bit of cold water and I'm done. If I'm going to work, I'm going somewhere, I will hit it with a styptic pencil just to close them up straight away. So that I don't look like a bag of shit when I get to work. Power up, back to work. It's been so long since I've been at work, I can't really remember what it's all about. I'm actually <laughs> dreading going back to training and trying to remember what the job's all about. Given that it's been 12 months since I actually did my job. I've kept up to date with most of the policy changes and things like that. A few weepers over there as well. Yeah, overall I'm very very happy with that. So the soap for today was Heritage Hill, The Patriot, which is lime, bergamot and patchouli. Like I say I'm not a massive fan of patchouli. But the lime and the bergamot do sort of overpower it. You can smell it a little bit once it's lathered or when you're lathering it. But yeah, great soap. The soap base is excellent. The scents are very good. They're a good scent strength as well, which is great. It obviously works very, very well with a bore brush, which is a bonus. So there is the 30mm Whip Dog Bore set inside a turn and shave. Beautifully made handle. Now this is quite a stubby little brush, but I think the proportions of it are absolutely brilliant. I think Milton did a great job with it. The razor was the car, Christopher Bradley razor, stainless steel, with the A-plate and a brand new big platinum chrome blade in there, which was very, very sharp, very smooth. And let's see, I mean, I've got a few weepers floating about as a result of the sharpness of it and not maybe not a light enough touch, but everywhere else, beautiful. Feels great. My skin feels lovely and soft. And that knocked down two days growth for the A-plate very, very easily. And finished off today with Moyle Grooming Frosted Frankenlime. This stuff's excellent. If you haven't got Moyle Grooming in the den, even if you just grab one bottle of it, you'd be very, very happy with it. The scents are natural. They are all essential oil based. I'm not sure whether he does an unscented one. I know he's doing a whole rebranding and a new formula. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Sean does with that. 
And with that, I am done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell icon if you want to see new videos. The videos are pretty thick and fast on this channel, and they can probably be a little bit boring and a little bit pedantic and a little bit crap, but they are what they are. You get what you get, and I am how I am sort of thing. There's no, I don't hide behind anything. I tell the truth, I tell it as it is, and I don't bullshit. Well, maybe I do. But to bullshit myself would be to bullshit you, and that's not happening. <sighs> Cracking stuff. Heritage Hill or hhshave.com. Head over there and have a little look and see what you think, and grab a couple of salt. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.